There are more words, more poetry passing between human beings today than ever before since the beginning of time. It's primarily because of our mode of communication, the internet, which is promoted through image, yes, but through words. A picture speaks a thousand words, but a thousand words speaks a billion pictures. Because each person that reads the poem translates the image in their own unique way. It's one of the, the gifts of poetry, that the very specific can become utterly universal, yet different to every single person that reads it. It's a piece of alchemy, a piece of magic, and it's available to all of us. Sometimes when you want to communicate what feels impossible, what's on the inside, what's angry, what is emotional, what is loving, what is, what is about loss, what is about gain, what is about our dreams. Poetry is one of the most incredible ways to do that. There's something in us that says that if we don't say it now, it's the end of the world. And it should sort of feel like that. And if you don't feel that immediately, keep writing until you do, until you find that sense that, of what it is that you want to say. Sometimes we don't know what we want to say until we say it. Surprise yourselves. It's one of the great things about writing a poem, that at the end of it, you can look at it and almost see who you are becoming. It's quite an incredible thing. The great thing about writing poetry is you can say what you really feel. How many times in your day do you get to say how you really feel? Often we have to hold it in, we have to keep it in mind, we have to not say it because this person's there or that person's there or it may be received in this way or that way. The beauty of poetry is you can say what you feel, be who you are, do what you love, love what you do. If you were to describe a tree in a poem, I promise you that every person will describe a different tree. The more detail you put into it, the more different that tree will be from the next person who describes it. What if that piece of writing represented how you felt? What kind of tree would that be if it represented what your dreams are? What kind of roots would they have? What kind of time of day would you be writing the poem about the tree in? What would the season be? What effect would the season have on the tree? What kind of shadow would it throw? What kind of ground would it be on? What kind of children would play around it or not? What kind of people would sit by it? When would it be cut down? What would it be poisoned by? How does it react to its environment? A simple description of that will tell you everything. About you.